In this installation video, we're going to take you from the foundation wall through the above grade wall with window installation and up to the roof soffit. I'm going to have to prime the wood frame and the membrane for adhesion. Now that I've primed along the base of my wall area here, I'm going to install my self-adhered membrane. We're using an exterior air barrier approach for this work, so I'm going to use a six inch wide self-adhered membrane to connect the foundation membrane to the wood framing. I now am going to address the insulation of the concrete foundation and we're going to install below grade Roxel mineral wool. At the end of the day, you need to have your mineral wool tight to the membrane and the foundation assembly, okay? In order to integrate the flashing into the sequence that I just mentioned, we need to tape the top leg of the flashing to the self-adhered membrane, thereby connecting them, not allowing air to blow underneath and behind any sheathing membrane, which may come over that back leg. We're now gonna look at starting our sheathing membrane around the window opening. I'm gonna line the bottom of my pre-strip with the bottom of the first tape I put on. I'm now gonna cut out for the window. Okay, I'm seeing a nice tape along here. Starting now, I'm going to do the sill membrane detailing on the sill or any horizontal surface where water could potentially be retained, stored. You should use a self-adhered waterproof membrane, vapor closed. This I've pre-made uh, as my one-piece sill. I still will be using a gusset and dart at this corner and a gusset and dart at this corner along with a jam member that comes along over the sill pan, okay? When you put this down, a good trick to do is seat your corner. Seat your corner like this, okay? So once you've seated the corner, it'll cooperate for you. Then you work from the middle out. Next, I'm going to be putting the sheathing membrane on the jam, both sides and then across the head, okay? So I'm going to start to lay that out now. I can't leave it like this. I need to tape the laps, similar to what I did at the base of the wall when we talked about the foundation work. So I'm gonna tape the lap here, the lap here, the lap here, and the lap here, okay? We're gonna move on now to the window installation. Moisture that comes to the sill, I do not wish to have it going behind the insulation. So I'm going to install a second or subsidiary moisture control membrane. Nothing to do with the air barrier, simply water management. I'm gonna start at the line of my air seal 
which I had drawn here so I know how far to go, I'm going to bring it down and leave it loose so it sticks out and it will come out through the mineral wool and direct any moisture from the window out to the front side of the mineral wool where it can easily drain down through the vented space. I'm now going to set the shims for my window install and I'm going to install this window into place. I've already checked and measured the shims sit level. I can rest my window on those shims, but what I'm going to do is use a little sealant to hold the shims in place while I put the window in. We recommend furring out a flanged window using 3 8 furring strips. The strips are continuous around the head and jams and intermittent at the sill. In this case, we have pre-installed the head and jam furring strips to the window flange for ease of installation. Make sure the sides of my blocks are sealed up. I have the sealant. I don't need water to get inside there. I finished the window and its install. I've installed the redundant or the secondary deflective element for moisture. I've taken it on around the three sides. My sill is open for drainage. I've used sealant to connect for air barrier continuity, membrane, sealant rod and caulk to window, sealant rod and caulk, back to membrane. We're now going to look at starting our sheeting membrane, which we need to do before we put the comfort board IS on the exterior, which was our goal for today. Okay, I have the head flashing installed over the window. I've installed one screw to hold it in place. This is a traditional head flashing approach where it's mounted to the wall. When you're installing the Roxel Comfort Board IS, you want to get the mineral wool cut at a 20 degree to marry to the underside of that flashing. I'm going to install the Comfort Board onto the wall. I've set the moisture membrane from the sill into place using the primer. The primer's just there to help me along, so as you can see, I can get the membrane pan sitting reasonable before my strap installations. I'm now going to start to install the wood strapping, which will support the cladding assembly. Okay, I will install the bug screen at the base of the wall and various locations around the, the range screen here. The product I'm using is a pre-manufactured perforated stainless steel. The Roxel Comfort Board cuts very easily to slip in right into what you need to do and that's set. You can reinstall your bug screen closure you had. I'll simply set the flashing into place. There'll be a caulk bead that runs through here. And as we talked about, the trim and the cladding design will carry on from there. So that takes you through the last little bit and uh, that's it, thanks. Now that we have finished installing the insulation and strapping, 
we would proceed with the cladding and trim per the details provided in the Roxel Comfort Board IS Builder's Guide.